channel so you guys i'm gonna be doing a grocery haul i went and got a good bit of stuff from walmart well i did walmart grocery pickup and i got some stuff from full lion so i'm gonna do a haul for you guys i did buy a good bit of stuff i spent more than i normally spend for the simple fact of the kids is about to be out of school well, dante is about to be out of school so i want to make sure we have more than enough groceries at least to last me till i got paid again so yeah you guys i'm gonna show y'all an overview and i'm gonna go into detail as to what came from what store Excuse the brand new books, y'all. She's supposed to take me her own. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me turn on another light. I'm like, I need another light in here, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the stuff I got from Full Line first, and then I'm going to work my way to Walmart. So, let me show you what I got from Full Lion first. So, at Full Lion, I spent... Come on and focus. We're going to try to get this camera to focus. I've been acting like I'm going to focus lately. There we go. I spent $45.81 at Full Lion. So, I got... A box of honey buns. This was 99 cents. Okay, there we go. A box of honey buns. This was 99 cents. I got some oatmeal cream pies. They were 99 cents. Some fruity pebbles. The fruity pebbles were. Okay, mama, you gotta go sit down while I talk to them. Okay. All right, so they can hear me. The fruity pebbles was like 2.99, I believe. Um, cinnamon toast crunch was buy one get one free, and Ben only brought one. I paid like a dollar and some change for it. Um, I did get all of my meats from Full Lion. Hmm? Okay, tell Bibi to fix you some milk while I'm doing this video, okay? Sorry, y'all know I got kids and how they be acting. So, most of my meats I did get from Food Lion because I didn't want to buy from Walmart. So, and they got the prices on them, so that works out good for me. I just kind of run through them really quick. I got this pack of pork chops. This is like a center cut pack of pork chops. And they were a dollar and forty, I mean, a four dollars and thirty-eight cents. I got some hamburger meat. This was three dollars and ninety-six cents. I got some smoked nate bone, which was four dollars and fourteen cents. I think I'm gonna cook that today. Go ahead and finish some milk, Dante. Okay. I got another pack of smoked nate bone. This one you guys for four dollars and eleven cents. Um, I got this roast. This um roast i'm gonna get michael to probably cook and put on one day but it was seven dollars and 98 cents this is my first time buying a whole roast like this normally i just buy like the little small beef stew but this is my first time like you know buying a roast i got some chicken breast um tenderloins some breast tenderloins tenderloins i use these for like my hamburger helper meals or if i want to make like chicken alfredo i'll use those as well as i got some pork chop bone and pork chop this was four dollars and 18 cents I also got some squeezed butter. Um, I like regular butter, but Michael likes the squeezed butter. And this was two for four. I got some peanut butter. And I think this was like $1.50. I got some more of these cakes. They're open because Brandy had one. These were 99 cents. And then the pecan rolls was 99 cents. So everything that came from Food Line is right here. And like I said, it was $45. Most of it went towards the meat. Um, oh, and then I got syrup, y'all. The syrup was $1.99. Either $1.99 or $1.49. But this is all the stuff I got from Food Lion right here. So now let me show you guys what I got from Walmart. I'm going to get my phone so I can show you how much I spent. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to cook this bone. So at Walmart Grocery, guys, I spent $1.16. And y'all know, sister girl, don't be spending that much in groceries. I spent $1.16 in Walmart. So I'm going to start with the stuff on the floor first. Um... Oh, there we go. I got this water. This bit pack of water it was like two dollars and fifty cents. I know it's it wasn't more than three dollars. Got a can of dog food for Brandy and Dante's doggy Anna. Um, that was seven dollars. I got this washing powder right here. This was six dollars, I believe. Six dollars. This with the chloride in it, the Clorox in it, but it's for colored clothes. And then I got this pack of juice for the kids, and this was about five dollars. Um, okay, so I got. Honey Nut Cheerios, well, dollar, I mean, Walmart brand of Honey Nut Cheerios. They were $1.23. I got some eggs. These eggs was like 79 cents, I believe. I got some sweet potatoes. These sweet potatoes was 3 or $4. Let move those out of the way. I got some chicken. This Tyson chicken was under $5. Brandy, I got it. Thank you. I got some pancake complete. This was like two dollars. Some oatmeal, it's about a dollar fifty. Some milk, the milk was two oh eight. 
I got bologna. Um, and this is what she meant in my vlog. If you guys watch my vlog, she said that she gave me thick instead of classic. I got two classics, but I mean, I got a classic and I got a thick, but it didn't have any classics. So she just switched it out for um, thick. And with Walmart, when they substitute items that they don't have, when they substitute, you still get them at the price of your original item. So if they had to go up a brand and the brand was like $2, I would have still got it for, what is it, 98 cents because that's the one I originally picked out. So I got me two packs of bologna. Both of those was 89 cents. Some French toast bites. Dante had a little accident walking in the house, so that's why the box looks like that. But these were $2. I got some corn on the cob. These were like $2. I got some grapes. Yeah, I'm not even quite sure how much the grape was. Probably like $4. Some um, boneless, skinless chicken breast. This was almost $6. I got some hot dogs. These were $0.98. Cents. I got these with the macaroni and cheeses because Brandy loves macaroni and cheese. I think Dante does as well. And I just got four packs. Like I said, something quick. Michael could cook for them for lunch. And these all were $0.34 cents each. So that's not bad at all if you're looking for some macaroni and cheese. They're all friend, but they taste the same to me. Um, I got some cheese. The cheese was like $2 and some change. Probably close to $3. I got some brown and sorry sausage. This was $1.19. I got some Lunchables. I start, y'all, excuse that cord right there, and that basket is laundry day. Anywho, <laughs> I got some Lunchables. I got all ham Lunchables, you guys. Um, the kids love Lunchables, and there's something quick and simple that they can eat on, you guys, when they want some lunch or something like that. So these were all a dollar. I got two things of cheese. I could have sworn I picked out a small bag of cheese, but maybe I was wrong. I got two things of cheese because I plan on making um, hamburger helper one. Not hamburger helper, spaghetti one day and then tacos another day. But these were like two dollars, close to yeah, about two fifty, I want to say, for these packs. I'm thinking that they didn't have the regular packs and they substitute them for their big packs, but they were like two dollars. Got some Roger Wood sausage over here. This was three dollars. I got some canned biscuits, I got all great value, so they were all 98 cents. I got the flaky jumbo biscuits right here. Let me turn them up so y'all can see the flaky jumbo biscuits. I got the croissant rolls, just the original croissant rolls, and then I got the buttery, well, flaky and buttery croissant rolls, and those, all of these was 98 cents. And move over to the side. I got a family pack of butter, because we seem to go through butter a lot. This was $2. I got some shrimp. The shrimp was, I'm gonna say $4 and some change, maybe almost $5. Got some french fries. Um, Walmart french fries is like always $2, $1.98. I got two packs of bacon, and both pack was $2.58. So yeah, and I got two of them. I got some bread, Walmart bread, bread was like 79 cents or something like that, 69 cents, 79 cents. Walmart bread is always on a dollar, and the kids, they like the, I mean, they'll eat, excuse me, they'll eat the off brand, so I don't really stress it, like buying name brand bread. I got some honey ham, because I plan on taking me some sandwiches for lunch. Especially on the days so I don't want to eat leftovers. And this was like $2. $2.50 I believe. Um, I got some taco shells. I got these taco shells you guys. I can't remember if they come with the pack or not. Maybe it's just the shell. I meant to get the shell with the pack. But it's alright. I'll get the little packet or whatever. But I got these tacos. They were like $2. Probably a dollar and some change. I got some bag rice because we... Normally use this bag rice. I'll cook one bag because I still haven't been eating rice like that. So I'll just normally cook one bag and that's enough for the family. This was like two ounces and change. Got the kiddos some Gogurts because there's something else that they love to snack on. These were, let's say 258, 2, 248, 258. Got two cans of green beans. Walmart canned goods are normally 38 cents. I got two cans of green beans. I got um, this chocolate syrup. Like some of a waste or something. Maybe in the container or the package. Let's see, y'all. I'm sorry. Maybe some of it waste, like when it was in the box or whatever. But I got some cert. And I, didn't, I don't think I got sugar free. I thought I got regular cert, but it's all right. I normally get this for Brandy. Brandy and Dante loves chocolate milk. So that's why I got this. This was like a dollar and some change. A little over a dollar. I got some yellow rice. If y'all grew up on yellow rice, comment below. I grew up on this yellow rice. But this was like a dollar and some change maybe a dollar fifty cents um before i get to those products right there let me show you what i got on this side i got some bananas 
Um, I got nine bananas. I want to say it was like two dollars for these nine bananas. I got some Minute Maid, the strawberry lemonade, Minute Maid. Michael normally drinks that. I don't drink Minute Maid. Um, I think that's all the groceries, y'all. And then, so last but not least, I got some Scott's tissue. This was a little over five dollars. I want to say like five fifty, five sixty. I got some baby powder because I be needing that. Um, and then I got some paper plates. These paper plates was $2. This was like a dollar. This paper plate was $2 and some change. So this is everything in my haul. As y'all can see, the kids is right here bothering me. <laughs> okay, wait till I finish my video. So I hope you guys enjoy this really quick haul. I feel like I paused like, okay, mama, give me a second. I feel like I paused like 15 times. Once again, y'all know I got kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please leave me a comment below. If you guys like my grocery hauls, leave those comments below because I'll continue to do them. Y'all know I love doing grocery hauls. But this is just everything we got. Hopefully it will be enough to last us until next time I get paid. Um, I did not get many canned goods or any veggies like that. Why? Because I already have those in the cabinet. I just kind of filled in what we didn't have and make sure that the kids got stuff they can eat for lunch and not necessarily have to turn on the stove every lunch time. So, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to thumbs up as well. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And if you are a new subscriber, make sure you comment below. Let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.